and rubbed one of his feet. The corroded shilling on a string, which had lain innocently on a woollen undershirt, swung forward, but there was something else. For a moment, something golden slipped out of the undershirt's open neck, something oval and golden, on a golden chain flashed in the sunlight. Then he straightened up, and it was dragged back out of sight. "'This is a bloody odd war, lad,' he said. "'It's true there's not just Slovenian soldiers out there. "'Lads say there is uniforms they'd never seen before. "'We've kicked a lot of backsides over the years, "'so maybe they really have ganged up and it's going to be our turn. "'But what I reckon is they're stuck. "'They took the keep. "'Oh, yes, mate. "'But they've got to hold on to it. "'And winter's coming home, "'and all those lads from Ankh, Moor, Pork and everywhere "'are a long way from home. "'We might have a chance yet.' Ah, especially now the prince is dead set on finding the young soldier that need him in the wedding tackle. That means he's angry. He'll make mistakes. Well, Sarge, I think... I'm glad you do, Private Perks, said Jackram, suddenly becoming a sergeant again. And I think that after you've seen to the Rupert and had a nap, you and me is going to show the lads some swordsmanship. Whatever bleeding war this is, sooner or later young Wazzer is going to have to use that blade he waggles about. Get going. Polly found Lieutenant Blau sitting with his back to the cliff, eating scubbo out of a bowl. Igorina was packing away her medical kit and Blau's ear was bandaged. Everything all right, sir, she said. Sorry I wasn't... I quite understand, Perks. You must stand your turn like the other lads, said Blau. And Polly heard the quotes clank into place. I had a refreshing nap, and the bleeding, and indeed the shaking, has quite stopped. However, I do still need a shave. You uh, want me to shave you? her heart sinking. I must set an example, Perks, but I have to say, you lads make such an effort it puts me to shame. You all seem to have faces as smooth as a baby's bottom, I must say. Yes, sir. Polly pulled out the shaving gear and walked over to the fire where the kettle was permanently boiling. Most of the